Uh, I was involved in presenting a poster yesterday of some data that my colleague Toby Eyre was largely responsible for collecting uh, and that was based on analysis of a large data set of patients over the age of 70 who received R-CHOP, so not always full dose, sometimes reduced dose R-CHOP for the older patients, uh, and looking at their fracture risk uh, within the next 18 months after the chemo. The reason 18 months was uh, selected is that's the sort of time we think the glucocorticoids, the prednisolone, can have their effect for. Now, the reason we did this analysis is we've seen some patients in clinic who are cured from their lymphoma but have had fractures that can be very debilitating, very painful. And so we wondered if this might be uh, a feature of the treatment they've been getting. And we found that the cumulative risk of fracture over that 18 months was 13%. So over one in 10 of our patients are having fractures, which is a surprisingly high amount. As I say, that can severely impair their quality of life in an otherwise cured patient. So we've now found that association. Of course, the next step is how do we prevent these fractures? Now, there is actually a little bit of randomised data out there from quite a few years ago suggesting that bisphosphonates, calcium and vitamin D may be helpful. But I think it's going to be about identifying higher risk patients, uh, perhaps even doing DEXA scans in those that we think may have reduced bone density, and then starting the appropriate prophylaxis. So that work still yet has to be done. But I think it's an important observation uh, you know, to actually find uh, um, a factor that can impair quality of life after treatment and then intervene uh, once we've identified that risk.